Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today we are running through how to break out clusters. Uh, so what that means is when we have balls grouped together like that, and another ball near it, so like this. Whoops, I don't know what happened there. So let's say we're like that on this one. Uh, and we want to shoot the three neck. So if we just pocket this one, well, now we are screwed on the three. We'll have to kick at it or do a really weird jump shot if you want, uh, but we're not really going to make this three. So what we need to learn to do is play position for breakouts. So this is called a cluster breakout. So I'm going to try to give myself the same shot I did. It was something like this. So we want to disturb this pack and still get a shot on the three. So we know if we hit the four on this side, the three is going this way and the cue ball will come back this way. So if we uh, use some bottom left spin, we can spin the cue ball into this little pack over here, disturb the balls, hit the four, and send the three ball over here and draw the cue ball back out for a shot on the three. Uh, so this is how you need to think when you're breaking out these clusters, because otherwise you're going to end up back in that position over here where you are just completely out of control. You cannot do anything. The kick is not easy. Uh, so that's hard being over there in that situation. So bottom left spin will pull the cue ball more to the left than just center bottom. Uh, center bottom may break it out just a little bit, but not really. So that's center bottom. So we need that left spin to carry it uh, into the little pack right there. And if you're straight, uh, you don't really have much of a breakout. So always when you're playing position, always try to play position for the line of the breakout. So we want to be on this side of the one ball, so the cue ball naturally heads towards this little cluster right here. Uh, so the breakout looks like this. And now you see we have a shot on the three. And right after that, a shot on the four. So that is probably the most common breakout, uh, but we are going to run through some more, some more very, very common breakouts. And in my opinion, breakouts are one of the most important things to know how to do in pool because you're not going to have a straight run out every single rack. There are going to be balls that group together and you need to know how to break them apart. And let's just move to this next breakout. Okay, so let's imagine we're playing nine ball, and we have a setup something like this, where we have a couple balls over here. These are the balls we're going to play next, and we're on the lowest number ball, or the ball we're hitting. So we can use this for eight ball, nine ball, ten ball, pretty much anything. And the one ball on this shot can range anywhere from here to here. So anywhere on this side of the table, along this line. So it can be way over here, it can be way over here. Uh, so this is why this shot is so common, because it can come up in many different directions. And this little cluster right here can be anywhere from here, like on up this line. Uh, so let's just say we pocket the one into the side regularly. Now we don't have much of a shot on the four at all. And if we hit it on its left side, we scratch. So that's kind of a bad situation. We do not want to be in any situation where hitting a ball on the side will just scratch immediately no matter what you do. So what we are going to do is have the one break up the four six. Now there's other ways you could play this shot. You could try to play the one down there to that corner or something. Or you can try to play safe. Like you can play safe behind those two balls pretty easily. But we want to go for the highest percentage option. This is a real high percentage option. This shot is actually easier than just pocketing the one in the side by itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot the one into the four 
And remember how I told you if you hit pretty much anywhere on that left side of the four, you scratch immediately. I barely thinned it there, but you get what I mean. See, if you hit anywhere on that left side, you scratch immediately, no matter what you do. So we know this, so we're going to use that to our advantage with this one. We're going to hit the one off that left side of the four into the side pocket. So that should send the six go that way and send the four into the open area. So we have a shot on the four. So that's what it looks like. This is it. We actually made the four and now we have a shot on the six. Uh, so very, very, very easy breakout option. Uh, this is probably the easiest one on here and is one of the most common, not the most common, uh, but it's pretty common. So that is a very, very simple one that will come in great use uh, for you in several, several different games. Because as I said earlier, it can be played in 8-ball, 9-ball, 10-ball, whatever ball, straight pool. Uh, so that's definitely an option you want to consider. Okay, so we've used draw to break up balls or backspin. Uh, we've used center ball to break up balls with that shot we just did. Now we're going to use topspin. So let's imagine we're playing 10 ball. We're on the three. We have a cluster right here. So this eight cannot be pocketed into that corner because it hits that 10. So what we are going to do is we have an angle right here. What we're going to do is we are going to drive the cue ball into those two balls using top spin so we hit that eight ball. Uh, we want to hit the eight ball and drive it this way and our cue ball will go this way and that will give us a good shot on the eight. Now we can barely clip the ten but it's best not to hit the ten at all. So when you're breaking out a cluster, the main things you want to consider are where will the ball you're hitting go? Where do you want to hit on the pack? So if, if we hit the eight ball where we're planning, like right here, see how the ball split up and now we have a shot on the eight? So we want to hit it right there. So that is the first thing we consider. Where do we want to hit the ball? Uh, second, where will the cue ball go after we hit this? Where will the cue ball go after we hit that contact point? In this case, it's going to go over here. Because uh, we always want to stay away from scratching. Because you can scratch off of a cluster. Uh, so, uh, where you want to hit on the ball? Where will the cue ball go? Where will the ball go? Uh, and what speed do we need to hit? If we hit this really hard, our cue ball is going to go, like, let's just say we already pocketed that. If we hit it hard, our cue ball is going to go crazy, and we won't have a shot on the 8. So we need to find the perfect speed to hit this shot, to just barely send that 8 into the rail, and send our cue ball following it. So we're going to use top spin since we want to kind of go forward. Uh, if we use backspin, we'll go backwards. If we use center ball, which center ball can work if you hit real hard. Uh, center ball, we would hit this 10 and the 8 would go into the rail. And we would have a rail shot on the 8. But this is by far the easiest option. So we're just going to play top spin, break it up. Now we have a shot on our 8 ball. Real easy shot. So that was the cluster breakout number three thank you guys so much for watching but don't click away from the video yet because i have some important information to tell you so for this month i am donating 20 percent of the ad revenue uh, from september plus one dollar for each subscriber gained in this next week so as you see from my analytics on my phone i don't know if you can see it says whoops 1,539 subscribers from September 3rd to September 9th. So when it says September 9th to uh, September whatever is in seven days from now, 16th, 
Uh, so, so from the 9th to the 16th, however many subscribers we gain, then one dollar for each subscriber will be given uh, for hurricane relief in Florida and Texas. If you live in the United States, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so that is it for this video. So tell your friends to subscribe because that will only give to hurricane relief. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.